how to get someone to go on a date with you. Maybe it's the first date. Maybe it's the third date. Maybe it's someone you haven't talked to in a while and uh, you know, you're know you trying to get back in touch with. This can be a tricky thing to do, you know, partially because you don't want to put a lot of pressure on somebody. You don't want to seem desperate. Um, you don't want to uh, come off as though you're a loser and you don't have anything going on in your life. What you do is take a look at your local calendar listing, find an event in the next three days, make sure there's tickets available, then you message them on you know Facebook, Twitter, text message, however you get a hold of this person. Then you say, hey, it's Noah. I have these two tickets to Camelot for Thursday night and my friend Billy was supposed to come with me. He flaked on me. Thought uh, I would check to see if you want to go with me, otherwise I'm just gonna sell. You're not actually gonna buy the tickets until the person says yes. So it's not really costing you anything. I mean, it's just super simple, just costing you a message. And this is an awesome way to do it. You win because A, it gives you a reason to contact them. B, it seems like you got a lot going on in your life. So C, you know, you've got cool things you're doing. You don't seem like a loser. And just a little caveat there, you gotta make sure you, you say you're gonna sell the tickets because if you ever see them again, they're gonna say, how's Camelot? You say, I don't know, I sold the tickets. Cause you're not gonna buy the tickets if they say no. So that's why it's a win for you. And it's a win for the person you're asking because it really takes the pressure off of them. It makes it easy for them to say no. It's not a big deal, it's low pressure. Anyways, that's just my two cents on getting someone to go on a date with you.